Welcome to another Forge Hub feature. This is Foxy. Today we will be looking at Infinity Siege by Wavern Zoo. If not immediately apparent, Infinity Siege is not a traditional big team battle map. While the map does support familiar arena style interactions with the opposing team, the overall objective is achieved through a series of scripted events. Infinity Siege is a fantastic reimagination of Star Wars Battlefront 2's Space Assault mode, modified for Halo 5's mechanics and with a few creative twists. Probably the most revolutionary part of this map is the new creation of the Destroy objective. Because she uses the Stronghold's game type, wherever a Stronghold is on the map is marked with a waypoint. When the player destroys the explosive, the Stronghold disappears, making it very clear that the objective was complete. Two teams begin the match inside large UNSC vessels on opposing sides of the map. All players have immediate access to a selection of wasps. These are required to traverse the map and achieve the aforementioned objectives. The first objective is to destroy the fuel silos located at the stern of smaller ships assigned to each team. Getting close to these ships is tricky because when trying to take out the fuel silos, the attacking team must have their backs turned to the defending team's immediate spawn location. It is difficult to achieve more than just a few moments of concentrated attack before the wasps are swatted away by the defenders. Once this objective is achieved and the silos are destroyed, the attack then turns to the enemy team's vessel. A team-specific shield prevents attacking players from boarding the large ship. Four shield generators adorn the exterior of the vessel and must be destroyed in order to infiltrate the ship and accomplish the third and final objective. Once inside, players must confront the defending team who are armed with a powerful array of weapons. If the attackers manage to work their way further into the interior of the ship, they will find the enemy core. The core is guarded by a powerful shield that requires more explosives than a Michael Bay film to take out. This requires a concerted effort on the part of the attackers, as a single player will not likely have sufficient time to take out the shield before being met with vicious opposition. The destruction of an enemy core awards the attackers a victory and concludes the game. Several additional gameplay elements help to enrich and diversify player interactions. For example, a side-mounted defense cannon can be found alongside the hull of each ship. Players are invited to use this cannon to ward off attacking wasps, but will be highly vulnerable as the cannon must remain stationary. Additionally, a neutrally placed Phaeton is accessible to either team and, if used correctly, can be a very powerful asset. The map itself is visually impressive and, despite its size, has a remarkable level of detail. Asteroids, floating debris, and meticulously intricate interior spaces all play a part in creating an immersive play space. When the shields of a ship go down, an alarm even starts blaring to alert the defending team of the impending threat. It's apparent she has capitalized on the recently increased peace count and new gameplay elements. Due to its inspiration by the classic Star Wars Battlefront game, the design is mostly a symmetrical conflict and is very reminiscent of naval battles, where ships align themselves parallel to each other and attempt to capture the other vessel. That's not the only source of inspiration though, as the game type itself closely mimics the invasion game type once found in Halo Reach. Drawing comparisons between this map and the fifth level of the Halo Reach campaign would also be appropriate. Wavern Zoo, however, has impressively breathed new life into this big team objective-based game. Not to mention, space dogfights never get old. It would seem that the inclusion of so many new features in Forge has exponentially increased the number of impressive maps. The Forge Hub library is now full of creations that would have been previously thought to be impossible. Infinity Siege, however, stands alone. It's a perfect example of how the community will never stop providing us with extraordinary content. To download this map, click here or follow the link in the video description. Don't forget to likewise download the accompanying game type titled Galactic Conquest. Stay tuned here for more map features, tutorials, and all things Forge. Thanks for watching.